Greetings, viewers, and thanks for joining me in the shop again today with the third gen. As I continue to upgrade, uh, armor up, and evaluate things for my big trip, trying to get all the stuff I want for a long-distance journey in here, I, as you can see, have taken the drawer system out again. Hi, Slim. This drawer system was made out of melanine basically glue and sawdust pressed together this is one inch thick the drawers the extra slider shelf and everything else I made on this believe it or not that weighs almost 300 pounds it weighs 274 pounds uh, that's a lot of weight <laughs> and it was really making the truck squat I didn't like that I plan to put this Bumper, I'm pondering, as you can see, the bumper's gone. I'm going to make another one. I've got some ideas on that, but this video, like that little piece of armor there that I bought, and the skid plate for the e-locker that I bought, and even this mull panel, things, or molly panel, I guess it's called, uh, there are things that I can buy for less time than effort than it would take me to make them myself. This is one of those things. These are skids for my lower control arm mounts. They give a, a way nicer angle and they support the bottom. This bolts on right through the mount and they swing up. I'm going to install these and show you this. These were $129 delivered for the set. There's no freaking way with the tools I have that I could make these. I wanted to beat that up. I didn't even know these existed, and I happened to just accidentally run across them. So I bought those. Well worth the money. I'm going to put those on. From my other truck, the black third gen, I had these um, Sonoran off-road, Sonoran steel lower control arms. I did order a new set of bushings to put in them for this truck, but these are DOM. They're heavy duty. I have them. I thought, why not put them in? <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, my track bar isn't flat, but even with the two-inch lift and with the additional weight of the bumper, which I weighed all that steel, I'm going to have about 120 pounds if I use it all in the bumper. Um. I have an adjustable track bar. The debate between adjustable track bar and track bar adjusting kit where you raise the height on one end and lower it on the other, that could go on forever in the debates like automatic versus manual and so on. I have bought this adjustable track bar for my black one when it had the huge lift on it, which was three and like three and a half inches in the back. It's adjustable. I'm going to set it at the same as the stock one and put it on there. Only reason, again, because I already have it. It is heavy duty. It's DOM. It has more heavy duty bushings. It's just been sitting on the floor. So I figure why not put it in? I'm using this trip to Colorado as an opportunity to really do a lot of fun stuff to my truck. But it's all low buck using things I have or making things except for these. I really like those. I'm going to go about putting those on today and these lower links. I'll get back um, as I go. I can hit the high points per usual. I got some ideas for the bumper using this as my recovery point for a hitch in the middle. Uh, tucking this all in tight and minimal. I want it tight here I want it under here kind of like the slider I like a little slider back here of course I'm gonna have to trim my exhaust we'll see how the bumper goes that's not today's project that's next but right now um, not happy with the drawers because of their weight but I support a drawer system I looked at some of the poly ones and stuff you can buy they don't even weigh 100 pounds so there are plenty of good options. I'm going to have to invest in that when I feel like spending way too much money one day. Probably not happening. Uh, but we'll see. <laughs> so right now, let me move on with the lower links and the lower link 
um, sliders and guards. Okay, kind of see how I've cleaned that up. I beat the dents out. I used my flap wheel to grind the outsides down flat, and that did make it a little bit thinner right there. But we are adding uh, 3 sixteenths of an inch on either side. Or, yeah, 3 sixteenths, I think. This is 3 sixteenths, it said, because that's certainly not 3 eighths, and it's not quarter. So it must be 3 sixteenths. So anyway, we'll be adding that to each side as well. I did test it after beating on it a little bit. It took some massaging with the hammer, the big pliers, but I've test fit it all. Let me put it together, show you what it does here. Okay, the rear end did slip back just a little bit. I know my link is not a different size. So this is what I'm talking about, ratchet strap your rear end. <laughs> if uh, you need to just hook to something on the rear end run it up there to hope that showed something to where I hooked it on the frame there you could kind of maybe see if I adjust everything how that hole's not lined up and the bolt won't go through put your crank on your ratchet strap just a little bit oh yeah there it is There you see it move just a little. So I'm gonna have to fix those too. Those are bent also. All right, now maybe if I tap that up just a little. Oh, just one more. Should have got a bigger uh, strap with a better handle on it. But there you go. So you can ratchet strap that up. I'm gonna. Uh, beat that back down flat and possibly make me some reinforcements here. Let's move to the front. Okay, here's what that thing does when it's all installed. Goes down under for skid, adds support, welds to the frame, which I'm gonna have to get it up there a little closer uh, with a clamp or something. And then you weld it to your frame here, here along the back side. Weld it down here because it fits tight and you can weld it up here Your factory bolt is not long enough. The only ones I had were too long and it had a double stack of washer on each side But I'm okay with that because still crank down tight um, Get this in place of course before you tighten it all the way up. Yes I did beat it up with a hammer a little got to kind of force feed it got my back one back in this job hasn't taken any time at all We'll put the track bar on again. That's two bolts but I'll hold on to this till it's all done, just in case I need to add something else. Okay, well it's on. I've got it tacked in a few places. Truck's setting back down. Uh, I'll go show you the other side. It's going to be tougher to weld the back side because of the gas tank, but you can get part of it. I'm glad that it all went together easy. The track bar was just a couple of bolts. And if you watched this video earlier and it's different now, let me say first thank you to the viewer who saw it and reported back, hey, you had your name and address uh, on YouTube. And <laughs> I did not realize I had done that. So thank you viewer for pointing that out. Uh, got this one on too, just a couple tack welds. Sometimes I don't pay attention to what I'm doing. My Sonoran off-road or Sonoran still lower links on. This side went on just as easy as that side did. No big deal. Um, let me see. I don't think I missed anything else other than uh, to say this product came from this fella here. These links... I will put a link in the description to him too, E-M-I Keith, or E-I-M Keith LLC, E-I-M Keith LLC. I'll put a link in the description to his place. I'll put a link to Sonoran Steel. Uh, their products are awesome. The customer service was great from both places. Quick shipping, quality products. Uh, that's I like to give them a bump if I can, just because it's good stuff and I'm using it and I like it. Next thing up will be the bumper. Um, 
Again, sorry if you watched this video the first time and I said something I didn't say this time, but that video is gone. And I'm glad that someone brought that to my attention because I don't always watch my own videos after the first time. And I was playing with my cat when I was editing it. And yeah, so rambling on. But hey, thanks for joining me. Appreciate you. Check links if you want to, please, because there's people's links in here for product that's good and you'd be happy. Uh, look at the description for the links. Um, my Etsy store's in there. You can get my shirts. There's all kinds of stuff in the links. Look at them sometime, maybe, if you want to anyway. Sorry a little freaked out about that video getting out with all my stuff on it, but I'm over it now. Like and subscribe if you like my crazy videos. I sure appreciate you. Have a great day.